Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys how to get this pop art Wonder Woman cartoony makeup look. <laughs> it's very easy. I want to keep doing easy Halloween tutorials for you guys. I feel like a lot of people don't really like do those as often anymore. So that's what I wanted to go ahead and do here and incorporate for you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you guys want to see more of my Halloween tutorials that I have coming up this month. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start this off by doing some of my makeup the way that I kind of normally would. So I went ahead and put on concealer already. Now I'm gonna work on doing my brows. I'm gonna be using the Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream. This one's so weird, like the cream is inside and you kinda gotta dig with the brush with this. Not a huge fan of that, but I like the way it applies for like this type of makeup I'm doing. And for this, you wanna make your eyebrows extra blocky, obviously, because we're doing pop art. If you guys want, I'll go ahead and pop an eyebrow tutorial right up here. Pretty much do the same thing that I do in that video, except I'm just gonna make them thicker and blockier. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and contour and I'm going to be using this NYX Contour Pro Palette. I'm gonna grab this color in the palette and I'm gonna make my cheekbones slightly higher using this color as well. I'm gonna go ahead and dig into that color. And where my cheekbone is, I'm just gonna find that a little bit higher and then blend it out from there just so it gives me the illusion of higher cheekbones. And then when there's little to no product left on the brush, I'm gonna start to blend it down and just carve out my cheekbone a little bit more this way, make them look a little more sunken in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some highlight from that same palette. It's the first shade in that palette. And I'm really gonna overly highlight my cheekbones. And my nose as well. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and start getting into the pop art portion of this. And I'm gonna start this out using this black face paint from Mehran. I'm gonna use this really small, precise brush, which is perfect. And I'm gonna start by doing her crown that she has. I'm gonna start from the top of my head. I'm gonna trace it down. And I'm gonna fix this later, don't worry. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing little eyebrow marks here. And you're gonna do this very light handedly. Using that same black face paint, I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing out my jawline. And that's gonna be a thicker line. You're gonna start from the very top of the ear and work your way down that cheekbone. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my nose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and trace down the natural bridge of my nose. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a slight little button nose here. I'm gonna trace it around like so. I don't think I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I think I'm just gonna leave it on this side. Where that natural curve lies, I'm just gonna go ahead and trace that. I'm gonna accentuate my natural lips as well. And I'm just gonna go ahead and trace them and make them a little bit bigger. I also went ahead and traced past my natural lip and tra to try to make that like cartoony lip look. Now I'm gonna use a thicker brush and I'm gonna trace along my jawline as well, from the very top of my ear to the bottom of my jaw. I'm now gonna take this Mayron Paradise Face Paints palette. I'm gonna dip into the red one and I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing out the star that she has in the middle of her crown. Okay, so for tracing out the star, it's gonna be a lot easier if you start out just doing a normal star like you would, like how I'm doing like so. And then notice as I started filling it in, I just added a little bit more color to each edge, trying to make it as symmetrical as I could. I'm also gonna take that red and start filling in my lips as well. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of that white face paint and I'm just gonna add in those little highlights on the lips. For the highlights, you wanna keep them on the very top and bottom of the lip, but away from the black lines we drew. I'm also gonna add a highlight by my nose as well. I'm gonna go ahead and start filling in my crown yellow. I'm 
I'm gonna go ahead and start tracing out my suit as well. So for the suit, I did this while looking into a mirror and I also just kept like looking down to making sure it was symmetrical enough. I did like this butterfly effect kind of that I saw in one of the pictures. If you mess up any edges, you can go ahead and clean it off with some water or even a makeup wipe. Start this out being very light handed with your patterns and then go over it later, just a little bit darker and thicker. That's what I'm doing here. Now I'm adding in the red for the suit. And again, I really want these black lines to show. So I'm not gonna like overshadow those. It helps if you're also using a thin flat brush for something like this. I go ahead and do a quick wing on my eye. If you guys want to see how I do a wing, I'll go ahead and pop a link right up on the right hand corner for you guys. I have a ton of tutorials where I do a wing just like this one. I also went ahead and popped black lines in my crease as well just to give more of that cartoony effect. And then to complete this look, I went ahead and popped on the Vegas Snay Grand Glamour Lashes. I think having big dramatic lashes like this are perfect for a cartoon makeup look. And that is it, you guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you guys want to see more of my Halloween tutorials I have coming up this month. And yeah, have a great rest of your night or day wherever you guys may be. I will see you in my next video. And remember, stay weird, my friends. Bye, you guys.